Hello everyone and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Young and the Restless spoilers for Tuesday, September 24 show that Maria Copeland will update Tessa Porter on the situation with Sharon Newman, who demanded space after everyone pushed too hard. Nick Newman will also join the chat, wondering if Sharon is in the Sedona Spa, but Maria will disclose she has already established her mother is not there. There will be some discussion about Nick's chat with Sharon's doctor, who was unable to disclose any private information. Although Nick expressed his concerns, the doctor advised them to call the police if they believed Sharon posed a threat to herself or others. Maria admits she was concerned when Sharon claimed she couldn't live that way, but Sharon assures her that she has no plans to kill herself. Daniel Romilotti Jr., Michael Grezia Day, will give Heather Stevens Veil Bloom tea as a peace gift because he knows she does not enjoy alcohol. Heather and Daniel will recap an off-screen chat from yesterday night in which Heather gave up on remaining in town. Daniel will be relieved that Heather is willing to stay, and he will express his supposedly pleasant conversation with Sharon after she apologizes. Heather and Daniel will kiss after discussing new career options. Heather will also agree to join Daniel, Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford, and Summer Newman, Allison Lanier, for dinner later. Heather will remind Daniel that Lucy Romilotti, Lily Brooks O'Brant, will be doing community service, and she will need to be picked up. On Tuesday's edition of Y and R, Daniel will go to society and answer Nick, Maria, and Tessa's questions. When Daniel finds they don't know where Sharon is, he will want them to keep him updated on their efforts to locate her. In the park, Adam Newman, Mark Grossman, will overhear Faith Newman, Raylan Castor, leaving a message for Sharon, and see she is disturbed. Faith will be cagey at first, but she will eventually conclude Adam could assist. After Faith mentions how Adam helped Sharon when she was first diagnosed with bipolar disorder, she admits Sharon isn't acting like herself. Faith will wonder if Adam can help her find Sharon, but he will decline. However, Adam will reassure Faith that Nick is on top of this. Sharon will have a nightmare in her motel room about hearing a knock on the restroom door. When Sharon opens it, Daniel will repeatedly shout Cassie Newman's Cameron Grimes name until he collapses on Sharon. When Sharon discovers blood on the back of Daniel's skull, she will awaken and argue with Cameron Kirsten, Lyndon Ashby, about the dream. Cameron will argue that if Sharon wants the nightmares to cease, she must take the necessary steps. Sharon will not remember checking into this motel room, nor will she recall the white paper bag that Cameron gestures to on the bed. Cameron will imply that Sharon was on autopilot and ask her to look inside. When Sharon opens the bag and finds a bottle of poison, she will consider if she should just use it on herself. Cameron will reject the plan, claiming that Sharon's family would blame themselves indefinitely if she did. Instead, Cameron will persuade Sharon to finally obtain justice for Cassie, so Sharon will force open Daniel's penthouse lock with a paperclip and slip inside. Sharon will use gloves to touch Daniel's whiskey bottle and will consider putting poison in it. Cameron will be there to give Sharon a final push to finish the task. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Sharon will face a major decision, so we'll keep you updated on any startling developments. According to Y and R spoilers for the autumn, Jess Walton will return as the infamous Jill Abbott. Unfortunately, news of Billy Abbott's Jason Thompson, recent actions in running Abbott Chancellor is expected, therefore Jill's return will be focused on grounding her son and preserving her legacy. Having said that, her current health difficulties were the reason she gave over her power to Billy. Could this drama put her in the hospital with a deadly condition? Why and our spoilers reveal that Billy is on a bit of an ego trip. Sure, his walls are up due to Victor Newman's Eric Braden takeover threats, but firing both Lily Winters, Crystal Khalil, and Chance Chancellor, Connor Floyd, 
may catch Jill off guard once she learns about it. Even worse, he failed to keep his mother informed. Jill adores both Lily and Chance, and she is unlikely to be pleased with Billy's decision to hire his ex, Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford, as his executive assistant. Jill will travel back to Geno City, whether she is ready or not, but this may put her under unnecessary stress. According to Y and R previews, Jill will have a life to defend her legacy. Event. Fans are aware that Jill is suffering with health challenges and has previously experienced heart problems. Could the instability surrounding Abbott Chancellor result in another heart attack? Could she be near death? Billy would undoubtedly feel bad. But what about Lily and Victor Newman, Eric Braden? Can Jill die and go to heaven? Will she return to recount the narrative? Or is this the end for Jill's character? Will Jill's return to Geno City end on a happy note? Or will she finish her story on the Y and R? Please share your opinions in the comments. Tune in to the CBS Soap every day to watch all of the drama and check the site for the latest young and the restless news, updates, and spoilers. According to teasers and updates from the young and the restless Y and R, Summer Newman, Allison Lanier, and Phyllis Summers, Michelle Stafford, may soon be plotting together for a great cause. Summer usually opposes her mother's meddling, but this time she may have a good reason to join forces with Phyllis. Fans are well aware that Phyllis is still suspicious of Billy Abbott's Jason Thompson, choice to move on from Chelsea Lawson, Melissa Claire Egan. The more Billy resists the thought of rekindling their relationship, the more Phyllis thinks he's too stubborn to forgive the woman he still loves. In her opinion, there is still hope for a future between Billy and Chelsea, if he can shed his hurt and animosity. Chelsea certainly feels guilt for the circumstances that lead to her relationship with Adam Newman, Mark Grossman, and Phyllis believes she deserves another chance. After speaking with Summer, Phyllis may become even more convinced that Billy and Chelsea's reunion is the best option. Summer's conversation with Chelsea in the September 23 episode will leave her with the impression that Chelsea's relationship with Billy may still be possible. Summer and Phyllis could decide to take constructive action since their thinking was aligned. It's not difficult to imagine them devising a scheme to bring Billy and Chelsea together for a romantic evening. Perhaps Summer might bring Chelsea to a jazz lounge and claim it's for a business meeting while Phyllis entices Billy to the same location. Once there, Phyllis and Summer may encourage Chelsea and Billy to fully express their thoughts. Summer and Phyllis might consider staging a reunion before stepping aside to give Billy and Chelsea some space to work things out. Naturally, Summer and Phyllis could try various means to exert influence over Chelsea and Billy as they work toward reconciliation. However, Chelsea's feelings for Adam may be greater than she is willing to admit, which could be a problem. Regardless of the conclusion, it appears that Phyllis will increase her efforts to persuade Billy to rekindle his romance with Chelsea. Will Summer and Phyllis be able to achieve their goals, or will they confuse matters even more? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and don't miss any updates.